ranking all six Peaky Blinders seasons. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanted to do a little ranking video on all six seasons of Peaky Blinders. Now, Peaky Blinders is a show that everybody seems to like, but for some reason, this show just resonates with me so, so well, and I enjoy it. It's probably one of my favorite shows, if not my favorite show right now. I just really, really enjoy the style. You know, even though I finished it, I wouldn't mind putting it on. I just love just the whole vibe and the whole stoic nature of this show. I absolutely love it. So let's jump into number six. And number six is season three. Now season three just has a lot of weird stuff going on. You have like the death of Grace, which is kind of like what we've been fighting for for the first two seasons. It's kind of just, the, they don't really use the Peaky Blinders. This was like um, the weakest we've ever seen the Peaky Blinders. Even after this, they kind of become a little bit more aggressive. I remember there was one point where like the Duchess makes them, you know, undress and things like that. And I'm just like, not Peaky Blinders, I'm sorry. You know, I understand why they're doing it for entertainment, you know, and some people probably want to see them naked, whatever, but just not Peaky Blinders, you know what I mean? So, um, and then on top of that, the ending of this one was just kind of so-so. I felt like a, like a much weaker retread of the ending of season two. They meet in almost the same spot. You know, Tommy does some deal. I mean, it kind of makes sense. It's almost like the Duchess was screwing over her family but I don't know it just was personally the worst season for me number five is season six the newest season now there's a lot of stuff that I liked about season six but then there's also a lot of stuff that I'm just not so sure about they don't really have Polly in this one Tommy doesn't have his signature cut and things aren't really resolved with the whole um, Oswald Mosley guy, you know, they, they leave it on a cliffhanger in, in season five and you're thinking, okay, we're gonna fi fix him in season six. They don't really do that. This is like the most amount of bad villains that are just let go. This season was okay. And on top of that, Michael's in this, but he's kind of like barely not in it. He kind of goes to jail. For like most of the time, he's not even really in it. So it's just doesn't really have too many of the classic Peaky Blinders, but it was still pretty solid, really enjoyable. And I felt like it had more character than season five, but I do slightly prefer season five so now let's go into number four and that is season five speaking of the devil so this season was pretty solid overall um it did feel like a little bit of a return to character you do get Polly in here you do get a lot of michael you get the whole um stock crash i thought that was pretty realistic i just felt like overall this was a pretty complete season i do feel like um season five and season three were the most generic um, I think Oswald Mosley is the worst villain for sure. He gets left alive in this one, so I wasn't really too happy about that. It was just a very, very solid middle of the pack season. A lot of little stuff that I liked about it, but at the same time, like, I felt like it didn't do enough in my opinion. All right, number three is season four. Now season four was pretty good. I really enjoyed Adrian Brody. I've talked to some people who really, really did not like him. I thought he was good. I wish he was utilized a little bit more. I really hate that John was killed in this one. I, we needed John to last a little bit longer. You could have killed off freaking anybody, killed off Michael. I just think John was like, you know, if you're gonna let um, Arthur get all the way to the end and le let Arthur live, at least let John go. I mean, he's just probably one of the most iconic Peaky Blinders. So that was just probably the number one reason I didn't like this season was John dying, but you know, what are you gonna do? I feel like this was probably one of the better endings of Peaky Blinders. The actual ending of season six is pretty good as well, but they kill Adrian Brody or they handle him like in the middle of episode six. And so the last half is this whole story of Tommy goes and meets with Tom Hardy. I forget what Tom Hardy's name. They have some duel on the beach that was actually really good it seemed very realistic I liked it um, you see Tommy kind of spiral out of control and then realize that there was no end game for him he always has to keep working I thought that was a great ending probably one of the best endings this one I this season I do remember being a little bit slow and I don't know if it's because I was watching them back to back to back but I do remember this was the first season when I watched it I was like wow this probably has the most slow moments in it but overall really enjoyed season four I'm putting it at number three all right, guys, number two is season one. Now, season one is very, very, very simple. It has like the least amount of sets 
pretty much in all of Peaky Blinders, probably for sure the least budgets. Like all in all, I just really, really like this season. You know, there was no big main character deaths. I'm not really a fan of, you know, past season three, Tommy's just kind of like this devil villain. Like, you know, nobody really cares about him. They just kind of need him to fix things. Like in seasons one and two, it's like, everybody wants Tommy to succeed and like wants Tommy to be happy and then get out of it. And then once a certain point, they're just like, they give up on him. They just label him this terrible bad guy, basically past season three. But first uh, seasons one and two was kind of perfect. I thought Grace was pretty good. Not really my absolute favorite, but I really liked her. Sam Neill was great. I really wasn't that big of a fan of, of Billy Kimber, but everybody's in it. It's just an amazing, amazing first season. It just is a little bit simple. And that's why it's number two. All right, and I'm pretty sure this is everybody's season. I'm pretty sure this is everybody's number one because it's just hard to not say it's the best one, and that is season two. Now, I remember when I first watched season one and season two of Peaky Blinders, they were so like nerve wracking. Like you kept feeling like somebody was just about to die and nobody did. And I remember after um, season one and two are over, I actually didn't want to watch season three for a long time because I was like, there's no way that they're gonna keep, how good season one and two are, there's no possible way that they can continue this into season three, four, five, and six. And as I expected, <laughs> season three ended up being the worst one. They shouldn't have killed off Grace, at least the way they did, but whatever. But this season's just perfect. Um, Savini is a great villain. He just, um, Savini is a great villain. You have everybody alive here, everything's just just kind of amped up to 10 really aggressive and again we're at that that point where everything's amped up and good but it's not like um, the Peaky Blinders are just like burnout losers, aggressive men that are just like throwing the whole families away. They're in that kind of building stage where things only get better. And I just really liked it. I love Tommy with um, the horse trainer girl. I always say that, but I absolutely loved her. I almost wanted Tommy to get with her more than Grace. I loved Sam Neill's uh, part in this one. I just loved everything about this season. This is Peaky Blinders firing on all cylinders and as close to a perfect season as you can get. Absolutely loved season two so anyways guys what was your favorite season of peaky blinders i'll be very interested to see down below i loved all the seasons all the episodes i already said that though so anyways guys let me know your thoughts down below and we are on the road to 50,000 subscribers i couldn't do it without any of you guys hope you guys are the best i'm having a great day out here hopefully having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace